and today I'm here to bring you guys an unboxing of the 1 to 1 replica scale Lancer for Gears of War 4. This is actually the Lancer that's straight out of the campaign that was designed originally by the Coalition. Um, obviously the original Lancer came first but uh, this is the one with the wooden buttstock that uh, was introduced in Gears of War 4. Uh, Marcus gives it to you kind of like a, a portion through the campaign but uh, today we're going to be doing a bit of an unboxing and uh, so let's get stuck right in. I'm excited. I've uh, always wanted one of these especially when Epic were showing that they had uh, some of them out but they've been super super expensive. Um, but these ones are really, really affordable, so I'm uh, really excited to get stuck into this little gun. <laughs> it's been sitting here for days, and I've just wanted to open it, uh, but I have to hold myself, hold myself back from doing it. Uh, all right, let's get in here. It's easier to open than I thought it would be. There's lots of, lots of tape and stuff. Oh boy. All right. Let's see. Uh, Oh man, there it is right there. Wow, okay. <laughs> it's not even, it's very padded looking. Holy shit. Oh man, I, I always wanted one of these. Holy shit. Come on now. Alright, so how am I supposed to take this out? That's the thing. There's no real way to grip it. Uh, maybe here. Yeah, there we go. And then maybe there's another way over here. We can kind of shimmy it out one moment at a time kind of thing. Oh yeah, there we go. And no, don't slip back in. There we go. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh shit, something fell off. Well, I'm gonna put this right here for a second. <laughs> Bit of a sloppy opening. Holy shit. All right, here we go. And then I can take the box down. There we go. Oh my god, look at it. Holy shit. It looks so good. I don't want to damage it. So this came all the way from the US and you can't actually buy these here so I had to, uh, it was on sale on Amazon and uh, one of my friends uh, was kind enough to let me ship it to her house and then ship it all the way over here which is super cool, oh my god this is amazing, where is the opening for the, oh, oh there we go, let's do this, oh my god. I've been so tempted to watch other people's openings of this, but, oh my god. <laughs> Look at that. That is so cool. Oh my god. So we have, oh look at that. That is so badass. So we have the iron sight here. You can see right through that. It actually works, which is nice. And then on the side here, we have the uh, chainsaw handle, which I can take this off. So you put that up and then they kind of like, they do that, pull it back to start off the chainsaw, which is really cool. Um, it's kind of got like a black paint job on it. It's really strange looking, it kind of looks a bit tattered looking. You've got all the blood over the front of the chainsaw there. Oh my god. I think, uh, I think a torch, come, can I stand this up? I wonder, kind of. Please don't fall over. <laughs> I hope that's in frame there. I definitely know it's in frame back here. There it is right there. Okay. So let me check the... You put like a torch on it. Just like buried in here. So uh, one thing that... The first, one of the first things you saw in, about Gears of War 4 actually was... Um, so there's no batteries in this currently. I don't think any batteries come with it. Um, it's a little manual here as well, but uh, one of the first things we saw in the very first reveal trailer for Gears of War 4 was um, torches. So the very first thing you saw was torches in the distance, and we weren't sure which characters they were going to be, and then it revealed Kate and JD, and we didn't even know their names at the time. Um, so you can equip the torch to the Lancer, let's see if it like clips in or whatever, let's see. There we go. So there's that kind of equipped to the side right there. It looks really, really good. Oh my god. <laughs> this is definitely uh, kind of mind-blowing. I can't believe I actually have this. Um, but as I was saying earlier, like Epic Games had a line of these from, uh, from NECA, I believe. And uh, now PDP are making these and they're really, really affordable. They're only like kind of within the 100 range, 150, 120, that kind of thing. And uh, it is amazing. I, th I believe, so the, the clip comes out, I think, because it definitely moves here. But I don't know how to do that and I'm not going to make, make a tit of myself. On video and then what is this? I'm not sure what this is exactly. Maybe that's for, oh maybe that could, maybe when you slide that up you can pull out the clip then or something like that. 
Um, with inside the inside the grip here, there's battery holders, and that uh, lights up. There's kind of like you guys might be able to see. Um, there's like a bunch of LEDs on the gun, like here and uh, where else? Yeah, here. There's a lot, lots of LEDs all over the gun, and then uh, on the torch itself, there's actually a. Uh, a battery pack that goes in there and you can actually shine the light and stuff. So this would be really good for cosplayers. Uh, of course it has the orange tip on it, um, which I think kind of takes away from the detail, but they're kind of mandatory nowadays. Uh, for like, if you're, if you're trying to cosplay with this, you need that on the top so people don't like freak out and think it's a real weapon or anything like that. But this is absolutely badass. I'm so happy that I actually have one of these now. And uh, yeah, do that. Let me do a few poses. I don't know. One of these. <laughs> I don't know, I just feel awkward with it. But uh, yeah, this is really, really cool. But uh, I just wanted to share this with you guys. It might have been a bit of a quick opening. I'll probably have some shots in the video that aren't directly of uh, just me holding it. But I just wanted to share the experience of unboxing it with you guys. But if you enjoyed the unboxing, definitely be sure to drop a like on the video. And subscribe to my channel for all future Gears of War 4 content. Share the video around if you really enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Hey guys, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like, leave a comment down below letting me know what you thought, subscribe to my channel if you're brand new for more videos, share the video around if you really enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time.